This video will show you how to use your Purcell 3 respirator. It includes preparation for use, donning, doffing and decontamination. Before each use, check the battery is fully charged. There is a battery indicator on the display screen, which shows all four bars when fully charged. The battery lasts for eight hours. It must be recharged when the low battery alarm rings. The HEPA filter is expected to last for one year. The display screen shows the condition of the filter. It will indicate when the filter needs to be changed. Before each use, the airflow must be tested. Switch on the respirator and allow it to reach 170 litres per minute. Insert the flow meter at the top of the tube and hold it in a vertical position. The airflow is sufficient if the marble reaches the minimum flow level. Next, perform an airflow alarm test. Put your hand over the top of the tube and wait for around 15 seconds for the alarm to sound. If the alarm does not sound, do not use the system. Connect the tube to the respirator hood. Your Purcell 3 respirator is now ready to use. Donning your Purcell respirator and other PPE is a two-person procedure and must be done with a buddy. Before you begin, make sure you're well hydrated and don't forget to go to the toilet if you need to. Ensure your hair is tied back, both yourself and your buddy, then clean your hands using alcohol hand rub. Turn the respirator on and check the flow rate is 170 litres per minute. Put on the harness, fastening the belt at the front and adjusting for comfort. Put on the hood and adjust until comfortable. Risk assess to determine what other PPE you will need to wear. This video shows you how to put on a long sleeve gown when wearing the Perso respirator. It also shows how an apron and gloves can be worn on top for an individual patient when the long sleeve gown is being worn for sessional use. Always remember to remove your gloves and apron and clean your hands after each patient contact. Put on the long sleeved gown. Your buddy ties it at the back of the neck and around the waist, ensuring the respirator is not obstructed. The hood sits over the top of the gown. If an apron is needed, you will need to break or stretch the necktie to get it over the hood. Your buddy can help to tie it, ensuring it does not obstruct the respirator. If wearing gloves, first clean your hands. Put on your gloves. You are now ready to leave the donning area. Doffing your personal respirator and other PPE is a two-person procedure and must be done with a buddy. The buddy cleans their hands using alcohol hand rub. They put on PPE, an apron, a surgical mask, eye protection if required and gloves. Remove your gloves and apron if worn. These are disposed of as clinical waste. Clean your hands using alcohol hand rub. The buddy then decontaminates the personal hood using Clinelle Universal Sanitising Wipes in the green pack. They start with the front section, which is the most contaminated area. Additional wipes are then used to decontaminate the remainder of the hood, including the top, sides and back. The buddy then removes your gown slowly peeling it off and carefully folding it inside out before discarding it as clinical waste. They remove their apron and clean their hands using alcohol hand rub.
They remove their eye protection if worn and their surgical mask, disposing of the mask as clinical waste. Next, undo the buckle at the front of the harness. Put on a pair of clean gloves. You are now ready to remove the hood. You must keep the airflow switched on until the hood has been removed. Remove your respirator hood carefully, making sure the outside surface does not touch your face. This can be done by grasping the hood on the outside at the top, pulling it forward and away from your face, then to the side as the tubing allows. You may need help to remove your harness before placing the respirator on the designated surface ready for decontaminating. You can now turn off the respirator system. Decontaminate it using Clonel Universal Sanitizing Wipes, including the hood, harness and outer casing of the respirator system. You are responsible for decontaminating your hood after each use and storing it correctly in its designated storage bag. The battery will need to be recharged at the end of each period of use. Clean your hands using alcohol hand rub. You are now ready to leave the doffing area.